guys, today we're gonna be playing Tales of Tenario, which is a game that just released on Roblox. Yeah, and this game is kind of like Pokemon in a sense, but we're going to be going through the motions of how this game works. And uh, the intro is really long for this game, so bear with us. We're going to be going through the motions, and once we get to the end of the intro, we're going to be catching back up with you, showing you how to do the quest, and showing you how to get to and how to beat the second stadium in the game. So let's get to it. Let's go. So I already played this game a little bit. I have an idea of what we're going to do, but we're on Kenoja's account right now to show you guys how the game works. One of the coolest things about this game is that it has voice acting, which you can hear right now. So that's, we're actually hearing the characters in the game. They're talking, which is the coolest thing I've, I've ever seen in a Roblox game. This person that we're talking to here is actually our rival for the game. So uh, if, you if you guys have played Pokemon in the past, there's a rival in every game, and this is going to be the one. It's uh, someone we're essentially competing with to see if we can beat them throughout the game. So we're going to be having several uh, uh, duels with this person as we progress. So our first objective is to go meet up with Kira at the research lab. Alright, so the research lab is going to be really easy to find, so you're going to go up, and then once you get up here, let's make a right. And right up here is going to be the research lab, so you just want to walk up in here, and this is probably going to be where Konojo has to decide which Tenario she's going to be starting off with. Okay, okay. it's time for Konojo to make her choice. Chihuahua, Rabush, or Charseal? Who are you going to go with, Konojo? This is one is so cute, and I like the element. Like, I, I, this one, I like the element. This one, I kind of like the element, but that crown, the crown is the one thing that's making me want to choose him. Ah, oh, I'm going for this one. Wow, she literally chose the one that she made no comments about. <laughs> that's insane. All right, W, so we went with Rabush, and uh, we're going to get this party started. It's so cute, though. It's so cute. All right, so we met up with Kira outside, and uh, what she's going to ask us to do now is actually have our very first battle in Tales of Tenaria. So go ahead and click through. Right, this first battle is usually pretty easy. As long as you use your actual attack, then uh, you know you should definitely win this battle. There should be no issues. If you do lose this battle, then um, I don't know. You, I haven't actually seen anybody loses yet, so hopefully you just use your attacks and uh, don't have any weird bugs where they just one-shot you. So you can actually click attack and then go to the question mark that's over there and don't click on it but it actually tells you what they do so strike is just a regular attack it has a base power 35 accuracy is 100 percent tells you the type of category uh it is all right so we we ended that battle pretty quickly you got me there yeah no kidding no kidding all right so we're gonna move on What's up? Where it is wasn't it? much of a challenge at all. No, not much of a challenge. But let's move on to the next quest here. And we're going to start our uh, Tenorio adventure. So let's go right here. We're going to go right. Yep, that's that's the right direction. And uh, I can't jump. I hate there's it. There's no jumping in this game. Yeah, so as you can see here, there's some grass here. If you walk around the grass, then there's an opportunity for Tenorios to spawn. And there's also adventurers like this guy that are going to challenge you to a Tenorio fight if you uh, walk in their line of sight. So be careful if your, if your Tenorios are at low health because otherwise you might end up having to get reset. We're gonna move our camera really quick just for this fight so you can see both sides of the screen here. This sharp roots, notice how, it's at, how it has a little down arrow here. That's because the game is recognizing that that attack is not gonna do well against this other scenario here, so you don't wanna use it. Yeah, and if you see an up arrow, then that means it's very effective against that scenario, and you really want to use that attack as long as you're not trying to end that uh, scenario's uh, fate. So here That's we're gonna dead. just go exactly. We're just gonna go with strike since it's neutral, have no buffs or debuffs, and uh, we're gonna get through this fight and hopefully, hopefully secure the dub. Can I get him after I, I do this? No, so you can't catch the scenarios that are owned by other uh, NPCs or players. You only can get them from the wild, pretty much. I want to get them. Alright, so nope, not that way, no. Well, then, <laughs> never mind. So let's see what we get here. This is another Tenorio that we're going to be able to fight. And this is going to be Trash, no tint. I didn't even catch this in my run, so I recommend Konojo does the same. But we'll see what she decides to do. This is her run, so she can choose to attack and catch or run away. But it's so cute. Now, if you want to try to catch the Tenorio, you have to bag. click on bag. That's right. And then on the top, you'll see it says Tano Cans. You'll click on that, and here's where all your Tano Cans are stored. Just click on it, use it, and it will go ahead and throw it. And now you're going to see the animation of catching it right here. Boom. Look at that. 
All right, all right, we got one more spin left, come on. And we caught it, W, oh! It broke out? Wow. That, it, the can closed. I don't even understand how that's possible. One spin, two spins, three spins. And we captured it. Yep, that's that's a capture right there, and that's a little animation. So we're gonna be able to now okay, go back, and now let's actually show you guys how to heal your your Tenorio. So we got some some damage taken on a Tenorio. We're gonna run back this way, and you're gonna run directly straight into that building that is in front of you right there. Okay. And so this building looks different in each town that I've been to so far. So what I can tell you is look for the building that's blue or the one that says Tano Station. When you walk in here, all you have to do is walk directly forward and talk to the little lady here behind the counter. Click on her. I can't move my view. I don't like this view. Gotta click on her. I'm trying. And then it's, uh, and then she's gonna ask you if you want to uh, heal up your people. You say yes, and there that goes. And there's actually a second thing you can do up here. So if Kanojo walks around the, to the staircase and goes up to the staircase and talks to this guy right here. Uh, this is a little shop where you can buy more Tano cans, oh, potions, wow. and all sorts of things. And I actually Tano recommend. Yeah, I recommend if you guys are not going to be catching any of the Tenorios at the beginning of the game like me, then don't buy anything. You don't really need anything. All these potions are going to go to waste because your Tenorios are very low level, and so their health is already going to be low to begin with. You want to use those potions on Tenorios that are a little bit higher level because then the, st the, the stakes are a little bit higher. Okay, so in order to get to, to Arx Wars, we gotta go to Route 2. Alright, so this is gonna go ahead and teleport us to, I guess, Route 2 here. Let's go! Alright, so back there is where we came from, and Kanoja's not gonna show you where we have to go next. Right. Go the other way around. Move. Yeah, so this Very a... fast, try to avoid the grass. Go. Otherwise, we might get something like this. Yikes! Okay, so Straight. that's where we came from. Yep. And now we just move this way. And, and then the right. go up here. Go up. We try to avoid as much grass as possible. We go up the bridge. And over. And then we go all the way up to this top of the hill. And this is going to be taking us to, let's see what the sign says, Arxworth. Perfect. Arx That's exactly where we were looking to go. Let's go. Alright. So we've made it to Arxworth. Let's okay. see what's, what's here now. So it looks like we have to get through a little bit more grass before we can actually get there. We can cut through right here. Yes, yes. And, oh, that looks like a gate to a pretty looking village if I say so myself. So, uh, let's avoid the grass. Kanoja's let's doing every, grass. everything she can to avoid that grass. Watch her get an encounter right here. We knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. Okay, maybe it's something good though. Maybe you get something you like. And Maybe it's a cute one. Oh, oh okay, that is kind of cute. You like it? That is cute. I okay. do want that. That is cute. All right, so to have the highest chances of catching a Tenorio, you want to do some damage to it. So let's go ahead and do a quick swipe, and uh, maybe two quick swipes, and then... Yeah, definitely two quick swipes, and then we can throw our Tenorio cans. Ooh, Kanojo about to catch her third Tenorio. Let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it. Come on, three spins. That's one. Oh, look at me in the bag. That's so cute. That's two. Give me the three. Give me the three. And Close. stay closed. And stay closed. Let's go. Kanojo's got her third Tenorio now. It's Root Rake. Root Rake. W. So it auto automatically gets added to your team too. It's uh, its health does not replenish though, so you do have to go and take it to a Tano sensor in order oh, to heal it up. That's no so let's get out of this grass. And up on this hill. And that's the entrance to Arxworth right here. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we walk into the, into the city. Oh. Looks like we're not allowed in yet. What's this? We gotta talk to someone again! Oh, this, this, this girl, bro. What, what you want? You want to battle again? Yeah, I made it. Easy. Light work. Isn't it gorgeous? I don't know. I haven't been inside yet. Bro. You haven't allowed me to go inside. What's going on? Uh, I'm not able to get in yet, Kira. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, it's the cops. Yo, did they hear we were... They know what you I did. Ain't doing I ain't they do know none. what you did. I ain't doing Okay, it's at the museum. Good. All right, no. So this is gonna be just the next quest we have to do here. The cops are gonna be going over to the museum, telling us to stay away. So you know exactly what we're gonna That's do, right? That's where we're going. Exactly. But let's go ahead and show you now how to get to the museum. It's really straightforward. Once you get to this uh, town, you don't want to make any turns anywhere. I know it's tempting to want to go and explore, Kanojo. 
But to get to the museum, you gotta walk up straight, and then as soon as you get to these stairs here on the left, you wanna turn left and walk all the way up. And this big old building right here is going to be the museum. So let's walk up and uh, let's try to go in. Once that whole cutscene's done of trying to get into the museum and the, the robber runs out, we have to go and find that robber. So uh, it's really easy to find them, actually. You're gonna go directly straight. Oops, sorry, can I jump? And there's a park that's actually right up here to the right. So we're gonna cross the street and make our way into this park that's directly to the right of us through that little arch right there. And he's going to be hiding over here in the back left, right around these rocks to the left of Kanojo. And it looks like he has already beat us here, so uh, this guy is going to actually battle us to a duel next. And so let's go ahead and see if we can beat him down. Beautiful. <clears throat> I was actually trying, he said. He's after, so salty. After killing this guy, we're going to be able to get the uh, museum artifacts back. And we essentially just have to take him back over to the museum. So uh, you guys know where the museum is. Let's go ahead and take this, uh, take these things back over there. Very cool. So here we are at the museum. We're going to step right on in. And uh, it's going to be a little bit bigger than you guys probably might have thought uh, from looking at the outside. Obviously, because it's such a big building. But uh, let me go ahead and show you guys where we have to take this artifact to. After talking to this girl, of course. Okay, so we just talked to the lady at the front desk. Now we're going to go and meet up with the person we have to meet up with. So Kanoja's just going to go up straight here, this way, and up those stairs. And we're going to make our way all the way down past this room that we're coming up to. If you guys want to stop and explore some of these artifacts that they have lying around, they do have a lot of lore that you can learn from the game and some history behind some of the Tenorios and where all the Tenorios came from and such. But right up here is going to be the person we have to talk to. And we have another cutscene that we're going to be skipping past. Of course. So this guy's actually going to explain a lot of the lore behind uh, Tenarios here. Uh, once again, we're going to skip past this because it is a little bit long. But uh, for you guys who are interested and who want to be a part of the story, make sure you read all of this when you're playing the game yourself so that you have a really good idea of what you're what you're playing and, you know, the, the effort that they actually put behind this game. Well, we already saw it, so we're skipping through it. Yes, sir. Now that you guys have a really good idea of what the game's about and how things work, we're going to go ahead and jump over to the first and second uh, stadium boss fights that you have to play through in order to advance through the game, just because we want you guys to see what that's like. It's really exciting, and they're very difficult to do, so uh, we'll see you there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. It's time to fight our first stadium star. We're here outside of the first stadium, and Kanojo's going to go ahead and walk in. She's obviously been working on her uh, on her Tenorios since we uh, last saw you guys, and uh, that was probably like only five seconds ago. But anyways, <laughs> here we are inside the stadium, and I actually want to show you guys something else that I totally forgot to tell Kanojo also. So on some of your um, Tenorios here, once they get to max level, you have to go to Summary, and they will actually have learned new moves. But they won't get replaced here automatically. So here it says Screech, we have to select this. And you see, you have actually two additional moves here that you can use. So we'll uh, choose Poison Prickle, and then I think Hobble doesn't... Yeah, it's a support move. We're not fans of that. We're going to switch over to Wind Blast, and look at that. that it does so 80 cool. base damage. Yeah, that's actually really good. So, <laughs> so we're going to cool. go through and do this for all of our uh, Tenorios now, and we suggest you do the same. Once you're in the stadium, we're going to make our way up here, over and around this. And as soon as we get in front of this lady, she's going to go ahead and take us over to the fight. And uh, we'll go ahead and not cut through any of this so you guys can see, you know, what our thought process is through the fight. And uh, you can either learn from us or laugh at us, depending on how well we do. So <laughs> let's get to it. We're going to skip Ow. through all of this. Yeah, just spam click. We don't need to read any of this anymore. Uh, if you guys want to read it, it's more than, up, more than up to you. Sorry, I stumbled over my words, W. Okay, like I said, we're not skipping through it, so it doesn't matter. Lots of skipping through this. And here we go. Okay, so once we get into this fight, we're going to have four different fighters. We're going to have three regular fighters that have one Tenorio each, and then the uh, main boss battle where the boss person is going to have, I'm pretty sure, three Tenorios. Oh. Maybe four, but we'll confirm once we get over there. And this person starts off with a little chicken that still has half of the shell on its head. Very big W. I think that Allergen Blast yes, would be so the sweet. best. Yes, highest damage. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, not even half. Okay, that's all right. It did no damage. Perfect. Attack. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we're gonna go with the most damage for now, unless we need to secure the hit, but I think we're gonna have no issues, at least not until we get to the actual main boss battle. Attack. Knowledge and Blast, yep. Easy. Oh, safeguard, are you kidding me? It protected Bruh. itself. All Come right. on. Let's try and use Quick Slash next. Actually, maybe not, never mind. Let's actually keep using Allergen, uh, Allergen Blast just to make sure that we can secure the kill in case it doesn't use it for a Easy, so that's per first person down. Now we're on to the second person. Uh, we gained some money there. That was awkward. Not for us, buddy. <laughs> we're definitely gonna lose there. Okay. On to the next person. Who's next? Green girl. She's got some green eyes and a green jacket and green hair. I like my style. That's Kanoja's yeah. style. Green. It's not my style, but it looks good on her. I like yeah, it. it looks good for sure. She's got a... Uh, what she got out there? What did, What even is that, bro? A bell buzz? Ooh. Trash. Oh, would, yeah. Quick swipe. Quick swipe. At least we can secure some damage early on. It screeched. Bruh. This thing don't even know. Do, Do it not Do realize thing. we got four more in the sack, bro? It's not even ready for us. Slow. Screech, Screech again. <laughs> Bruh, who took you to Tenorio Training School, man? You don't even know what you're doing. I've actually had like three fights in which they all, in which they never use a single attack. They always Are you use serious? something that was that gave me no damage. That's perfect. Hey, if it's gonna help you out, at least in the beginning, that's not too bad. I'm sure this game gets plenty hard later on in the game. Oh. Oh yeah, that was super effective. Just like that. All right. Very effective. Who are you gonna put on next? Well, we're gonna put the next person. You sure? Alright, that sounds good, that sounds good. It's only level 14, but it can probably get a couple hits in. This is a level 15, and we're likely not going to see lower attacks. Ooh, and it actually has the perfect you attack. See? Ooh. Can it finish it off? Oh! The clutch! Go. The Let's clutch! Go. No tint, the clutch, bro. Oh my god, that was perfect. That was perfect, okay. We get a little bit more money. Never going to let you down. Did she just Is that what she just said? Never gonna give you up. <laughs> Never gonna turn around and get to the next fight. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go, let's go. It's uh, it's Giga Chat up next. Buddy thinks he has a chance. Okay, get out of here, buddy, with your brown, yeah. with your blonde hair and your yellow jacket, bro. Come on, let's go, let's get it. Bodybuilder Grayson, look, he's literally a Giga Chad, bro. I said it. All right, per lazy, per, uh, he got a lazy cat. The gym guy has a lazy cat for a Tenorio and he's talking trash? No, 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 no. All right, Kano's just checking which Both attack's gonna do the most damage. I would go with uh, Chirp then. Yeah, Chirp's not gonna be that bad then. Oh, and you got your We're first attack. We're gonna get attack. killed anyway, so. Yeah. Tail smack, no big deal, no big deal. Let's see who we got next. You gonna go in order? Yeah. Bushrick next? Or should we save that for last? Oh, no, we can put Bushrick in now. I don't think it makes too big of a difference. Yeah. As long as it can secure the win here, we should be good to go. So, attack. And, uh... 55, 80. 80? Wind Blast does 80? That we sounds pretty fire. That. Ooh, but I used a quick swipe to secure that hit. And that actually did not do it that much damage. Alright, alright. Go for it again. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so that wasn't a crit, so I think just one more hit and maybe, or actually maybe two more hits and then we should be good, we should be good to go. Oh, it was avoided? Yeah, yeah, your boy's moving quick. The boss battle's actually gonna be a little tough. I almost lost my boss battle, so I'm actually very curious to see how your team will do compared to how my team did. Alright, speed decrease, speed increase, lots of uh, lots of buffs and debuffs going on right now. The Parlazy's too lazy to attack, so we're gonna be sweeping this thing out of here. Come on, next attack. And... Is it done? Is done. Let's go, it's Ooh, boss battle time. One. And we still have another two? Another two, yeah, we have another two Tenorios left, plus the one that we have, uh, you know... Equipped right equipped. now. Equipped, yes sir. Alright. Bye bye. Goodbye, Giga Chad. Until next time. Yeah, that I know that was good. Goodbye. I'm great. I know. Thank you. Like I said, we're skipping through the cuts uh, through the cutscenes now. If you guys want to read them while you're playing the game, then please feel free to do so. 
Alrighty, boys, let's get it. It's time. We're gonna have the whole arena looking at us, destroying this boss battle here. Alright, Nikito Stadium. Oh, this looks really cool. Damn. I like the colors. You know she takes it serious when she got a band-aid under her eye, even though she does none of the fighting. <laughs> Easy to get rid of like those other chumps. <laughs> Damn, I thought these were nice people. We actually have to take this one. So. Great. She sounds mean, bro. All right, let's bring it. She wants to fight. Let's show her a fight. Cool. You seem quite promising. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. We've been grinding. Stadium star Rhea. Bro, Rhea's a joke. Bushrake. Let's take him out. Okay. So wind blast. Oh, oh automatic. No, this is great. This automatic. Is great. This is great. Clean it up, Bushrake. Clean it up. Oh, clean it it up! It's let's super effective. It. it is very effective. That was Thank big you. effective. All right, let's see who's next. Who's next? Yeah, we we still get buffs too. Oh, wait, oh, and she definitely has three. So this next one's a ma a Manxo, and Wind Blast is gonna do extra damage again. Damn! Oh, oh, this is gonna take three attacks. Let's see how many Manxo needs. You screech, bro. He's gonna. Do Dog, bro, we're gonna sweep this boss battle. Let's you go. You should be making better decisions for being a boss. For real, for real. Wind blast again. Let's get it. Oh, that actually might not kill him in the next hit. We might actually have to do an additional hit yeah. after this. Looks you like screech it. again, though. I don't think we have anything to worry about right now, Kanato. I think that uh, the, this boss battle might be throwing right now. And you said that they have three, uh, three tornadoes. Yeah. Tonarius, so right? this is the second one. There's one left after this. And there's a special surprise for the Tenorio that comes out after this, but uh, I won't spoil it for you guys. You'll get to see it here. Special surprise. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Look, you're literally one hit away what from here. What is it? Just slam what this guy. It? Quick swipe. Quick swipe. What is it? What is don't it? Don't worry. Don't worry. You, you stressing for no reason. You can't not tell me. Yes, I can not tell you. <laughs> because it's going to happen right now. You probably gained experience. Gaining some levels. Is it what? It's a Pikachu. No, it's not Pikachu. We can't do that. <laughs> All right, so uh, oh, perfect. it's Dinostogan. Dinostogan, you so, wait, wait a second. Is it not gonna do it? Oh, here it is. Oh. It's uh, transformation time, boys. It's uh, it's big boy. Yeah, it's forget big boy. It's giant boy Dinostogan. Oh no, that is really big. And a one shot you. And this is what happened to me. But I pulled off the clutch at the very end. Luckily, your people are still a little decently high level, so... Uh, but he had a double buff! Yeah, he did. He did. He sure did. <laughs> no worries. Can't use that one. I would go with Headbutt. Headbutt's gonna be a decent one. It might even make him flinch, which would be very beneficial. <laughs> he was called Tom. So the good thing about this guy is that even though he's very big and he does do a lot of damage, he happens to not do many attacks. So as long as you can get lucky and not get attacked too many times, then you should be okay. Unlike we were right there. That was not yeah. good. Alright, but I think we only need like two, three more hits. Come on, Kanojo. We can pull this off. Ooh, yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Alright. I think we got this for sure. Maybe one hit. Maybe two hits. Let's go. Ooh, call to arms. Perfect, perfect. Keep using those passives, buddy. <laughs> Keep using those passives. You're definitely not about to die. Oh! You're definitely not dead. Goodbye. GG's. We destroyed it. Oh, he went to level 18. Nice. Yeah, W levels. Alright, so... Think he was oh, maybe? Yeah. I'm not sure. But uh, that was our first boss battle. Our first uh, star stadium that we did. This is the first star person that we destroyed. And uh, now we're going to be actually cutting over to the next stadium where we're going to be destroying the second star stadium. I uh, hope you guys are excited because I sure am. Uh, we're going to be switching over to my perspective. So you're going to see a different set of Tenorios. And uh, trust me, mine are not any less impressive than Kanojo's were just now. All right, guys, we're here on my account, and uh, we're ready to face the second star battle boss. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little sneak peek at some of my Tenorios here. I have Sir Prince, which is the second evolution of Charlize, which is one of the three Tenorios that you can get from the very beginning. I also have Dual Ram, Dynastigan, Fun Glow, Cash Room, and Chromillion. And my highest Tenorio level is level 26 on Dynastigan. So uh, I think we have a pretty solid chance at uh, destroying this boss over here. So let's go ahead and make our way 
to the boss battle. Yours are so cool. Hell yeah, thank you, thank you. Well, it's a very nice looking lobby area. All right, so uh, I'm pretty sure we just gotta make our way over to the back over here. And yeah, just this door right here. I think that I think that we're actually ready to go ahead and fight this guy. Uh, before you can actually fight this boss, what you have to do is complete three little quests with the chef that you're gonna run into once you uh, walk into the dining area there. And uh, once you complete those, then you can actually fight this guy. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, that's a big arena. Wow. A live show while you eat some food. That's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. I would like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I must say, dedication's admirable. Dude, come on. Let's just fight. I appreciate the nice words. But you know what I want to do right now? What I want to do is clap Bye. them cheeks. Get over here. I will not hold back on you, buddy. Don't you worry a thing. Don't you worry one little bit, Mr. Dylan. Let's get it. All right, what you got, Mr. Chef? Cook you up something good? I'll cook you up something better. What is that? What kind of... Bro, what kind of tournament is that? That is really cool. Oh, it's sun a flower. Jaja. It's a sunflower. Interesting. Let's go Toxic Tooth. Maybe we get lucky with the poison damage. And very good. That was a lot of damage. Okay, maybe this guy can't do much. Oh, no damage. Let's get it. And he has four Tenorios that we have to go up against. Luckily, we have a fully stacked team of six. So, uh, may hopefully no surprises at the very end. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Use Mind Mash. Nothing. Nothing I can't handle. You know, I'm going to use uh, Torch this time just in case the Sir Prince actually survives a while. Beautiful. All right. Super effective. They fainted. On to the next one. Okay, what you got for me? What you got for me? A citrine? Bro, light work. Same thing. Light work. Hit him with the poison. It seems like he has four. Yeah, yeah, he's got four of them. So we're going to have to see if we can get through all of them. I'm sure we can. I just wonder how many we can get through with just Sir, uh, Sir Prince. Let's do... Yeah, we'll do Toxic Tooth again. Just because it does for sure more damage. A lot of damage. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. Distracting aroma? Psh, you're pretty cute. You distracted enough. For a Tenorio, at least, I guess. What's up? Hey, we killed it! Alright, on to the third one. Let's go. Next Tenorio, please. And what are you gonna send out? What's next? Who's next on my on my uh, on my menu here? A radish. An upgraded and evolved radish. We got Rutabash. Are you gonna be oof. only torch? All right. Well, we can go with torch. Probably still gonna do some pretty decent damage. Oh yeah, that yeah, yeah. Good. What level was this by the way? Was this level thirty? Because if this is level thirty, that's actually a pretty high level. It is level 30. Damn, all right. I, all right, we're fine. We're fine. We're going to keep using Torch. I know you guys can't see the uh, moves, but actually, maybe you can. Maybe you can read between us. Now, I'm going to move this way for a second so you guys can see it on the next round here. There it is. So let me click attack. Well, the last one says Burrow. You can take my word for it. And <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on, let's hope this guy just uses a screech next and we got nothing to worry about. What are you gonna use? Mud splash? No, that was the worst move you could have used. All right, fine, <laughs> whatever. We move on. Bye bye. Let's go dual ram. I'll just go in order. I think going in order is gonna be just fine. Hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Let's do head ram. Nah, let's do head butts. Let's do headbutt. Is that one better? Yeah, it does a little bit more damage, I think. Oh, wow, that was mm. good. Ooh. Yeah, it was, it was alright. It was alright. That guy definitely did more damage to me, so hopefully we can at least finish this one off and then we have four scenarios that we can use on the last guy. Well, I had totally forgotten that there was a, a guy that had already taken this one's damage, and that, all of that wasn't just that one hit. Oh, one. yeah, yeah, no, it wasn't just that one hit. Come on, don't use it. Fertilize? Is that going to... Oh, perfect. Thank you so much for Thank not you. using an attack that's going to hurt me. Get out of here, buddy. Bye-bye. Thank you. Lost, please. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Are you going to do something something sneaky and make him, like, big this time like you did the last time? <laughs> Let's see what this chef has up his sleeve. What is that? What the heck is that? Uh, Doopy bar. Uh, it's like a copy bar, but Doopy bar? Bruh, level 32? <laughs> Level 32 pretty high. I don't know if we're gonna I don't know if we're gonna make this happen. Oh my god, no. No, no, 
No, you're evolving your guy in the middle of a fight? What kind of slimy stuff is this? And now he's buff? That's really cool, not gonna lie. He's no longer lazy. I got one hit left? Bro. What can I even do here? I mm, I don't know, I think I'm done for. I think I might be done for. Do be borrow, yep. I'm out of here. Bye -bye. I'm out of here. Yo. We got four guys left. We, no, we got four guys. That. And this guy's level 27. He is the highest level. So if this guy can do some decent damage, we might have a chance here. Let's see. Let's just not get taken out. Oh, perfect. 70 damage, 40 damage. Let's go. Pollen burst. Let's see if this will do some big damage. Oh, that was almost half my health. Okay, but we did a lot of damage to him too. We did a lot of damage to him too. Come on, please. Please use something just trash. Just don't use a... No, anything but that. Okay. Was that a critical hit? Dude, game over. Game over. Easy peasy, Bye -bye. lemon squeezy. Leveled up to level 28, bro. $2,000 from that uh, from that boss battle too. Bro, light work, boys. Light work. All you gotta do is get lucky with the crits. Yes, you are the one who got served, buddy. All right. All right, boys. Well, GG's. That is going to be the end of this video here. If you guys enjoyed this one or you have any questions or you want to know more about Tales of Scenario, then let me know down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer all of your questions. And uh, if you guys want to see another video on Tales of Scenario, then please let us know. We would be happy to do this. I love this game right now. It really takes me back to the nostalgia of playing Pokemon back in the old days. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you. I appreciate you. And until next time, peace.